Until a few years ago, I would look at a restaurant menu and see something like French fries, $2.50, or soup, $2, or scrambled eggs, $1.50. And everything had that dollar sign before the amount that the food cost the customer. Then I began to notice something strange on some menus. The food items just had the number, like 2 or 2.5 or 3 following the food item. The restaurant started leaving off the dollar sign. Well, guess why that happened? You might guess, well, to save room on the menu for more important information. No, that's not it. Experts in psychology began to describe the dollar sign as a pain point for customers. Whenever the customer saw the dollar sign, it reminded, it reminded him that they were spending money and it caused more pain than just the plain number without the dollar sign. I wonder if that could be the same in the church. There are some subjects that the preacher might mention that are pain points to the members. Subjects like Oh, maybe God's law, or sacrificial giving, maybe even signs of the times or standing for the truth no matter what. These could be pain points to some people in the church. There's a sign for the Christian church. Some people wear it around their necks as a necktie or necklace. Some even carry it during Easter celebrations. Others wear it in the form of a pin on their jacket or sweater. The sign is the cross. Christianity involves a cross, and we should not shy away from taking it up. Hiding the dollar sign does not change the cost. Luke 9.23 says, He also said to them, If anyone wants to be my disciple, he must forget about himself, take up his cross, and be willing to die for me. Are you willing to take up his cross? It's a sign. It could be a pain point, but it's also a saving point. Father, we just thank you for the cross because in the cross, Jesus gave us the ability to be saved and to live for eternity. In his name, we thank you. Amen.